What's up, Thar Sizzle Nation? Today, we have a lot going on. We gotta go pick up our flats boat. We had some new tech stuff put into it. We're pretty excited to go pick it up. And then we're gonna go on the water, and my dad is joining us today. So it's a little windy out, but it should be like really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to it. We're almost getting ready to go. I just gotta finish this up. Old man Bubba's doing okay. He's still being old, but like he has his moments. He eats and he doesn't eat. He ate today, but Bubba's hanging in there, so. <laughs> Bubba can't go anywhere. That's right, Bubba, right? But he can't go with us. Yeah, I, but <laughs> Bubba was on his last legs. Sun is in my eyes. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to make a video today, but we decided to just, we're just going to vlog it. And if you guys don't like it, hanging out with us today while we follow our dreams, checking our crab pots, then uh, I apologize. But another thing we learned today is that the Parkland shooter used to live a half a mile from our house. And he moved to Parkland in like December. So, it's terrible. This whole thing's a big mess. No, oh, it was like, that's crazy. It's such a small world and really scary. Comment below if your tackle box looks like Darcy's. See the lures? Where do you want me to, you want me to put these fish? In there. In that bucket? In that garbage bag. What, you don't have a bag of frozen fish at your house? You ready, boss? Let's ready, get, ready. Get, we are going to the boat. We're in the truck right now. But we wanted to go check out where the actual trailer park is. We're at the end of our street. And we're going to make a turn right here. But it's like literally like right down the block. So we're going to see it right now. So you used to live right in this trailer park. Right, right next to my house. <laughs> I'm just making a U-turn, but... <laughs> right there. Ready to go, Sizzle? Yeah. It's gonna go. We just got these new uh, rod holders put in for trolling and for fishing. One, two, three. All right. Check in one of our traps. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. We got some crabs. We haven't checked this one in quite a while just because it's further away from all of our other ones. But I'm just crazy to see all this growth and all this like, it's just like all this life is going on on this trap. It's crazy. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Oh, baby, look at that. Wow. Wow. Score. That is awesome, man. Nice, nice. Got him? Yeah. The two biggest crabs in there, which is one dad's got in his hands right now, one is full of eggs, female. We have to release her unharmed. That's what we're going to do. Just took one of the legs off this guy, and now we're going to see um, if the others, we've got other keepers, but awesome. We did really, really well with our trap today, guys. I'm really happy. That is awesome. We are just loading up on keeper stone crab claws. It seems like towards the end of the season, which it ends, um, it ends on May 15th, we're getting nicer claws and bigger crabs. So that's pretty sweet. Ooh, booby. I don't want to get hurt right now. She, oh, she touched me. But she wants to fight because she's protecting. She's very aggressive, but look at that. Totally a green egg sac, I mean, orange egg sac green. Full of eggs, that is incredible. She's going to have lots of little baby stone crabs. So we're going right back in the water with her. All right. That was a success, and that's only one trap. That was like the best we've ever done on one trap with keepers. So we're, we're gonna reset it, let's do this. So I'm just gonna, basically what I'm doing, I'm just gonna put all our keeper claws into a bag and put them on top of ice, but not directly on the ice because it's not good for the meat. But a lot of you guys have been commenting lately on our last stone crab video. And just so you guys know, like this is, this is what we do with stone crabs. You, you break off their claws and you release the crab alive. And uh, they've done research studies on these on this guy, so you know don't don't ask me about it or you know I'm just following the rules and the regulations. But you're allowed to take both claws if they're keepers. You release the crab and they regrow their cl their claws every year. So that's just part of what we do here. You don't eat the crab. You're not allowed to. It's illegal. So depending on what crab species you're targeting, everything is different. And I'll link the information for stone crabs down below if you're interested to check it out. Sean! Something small. But I'll take it. 
We are doing our trolling now. And I've got a bait for my trap. <laughs> I'll probably release him. But we are starting to catch some fish. A little Jack Craval for us today. But we figured we might as well do a troll because we have been catching a lot of snook lately. So we figured maybe we'll get our slot, you know, to start trolling out here. Plus, me and my dad might be good luck because my dad has a birthday in two days. You're gonna see this probably after his birthday and then my birthday's a week later and we're both Pisces. So that's the fish symbol. So we're good luck. Killing it. Crab bait, perfect bait. Oh, you do that. <laughs> what snook in the boat. All right, we got a nice little snooky here. We swallowed this lure pretty good. Save that little snooky. So pretty. Thumbs up, seven up. Oh yeah, that was awesome. This lure just got smashed and it's the same lure that we caught the snook on earlier. Once again, guys, as always, I'll link all my favorite fishing products that I love to use in my Amazon store and the link is down in the description below. Check it out. And if you purchase anything from my store, I might get a little credit from it, a couple cents or whatever. So if you want to support this channel for free, check out Amazon. All right, he's coming in. For whatever reason, the orange lure that I love has not been working as great lately, but they've been crushing this yellow and blue one. And now I think we're gonna go ahead and check our the remaining stone crab traps that we've got. I'm gonna use my bubble blade pliers and get this off of them. He's talking, he doesn't like it. I know. The sizzle. What's up? <laughs> I got my uh, chapstick addiction, addiction I need to fulfill. <laughs> I just wanted to say I was kind of grumpy before. <laughs> you were, he was, he was very grumpy. And I said, we're gonna vlog today. We weren't gonna film this. And I said, vlogging will help me, inspire me to be in a better mood. So you guys inspired me today to get me out here so I could talk to you because Darcy just yells at me when I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> I just try to avoid him. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I, get, I get that a lot. He was uh, grumpy editing videos this morning. He so was angry. He was, yeah. yeah. He was <laughs> angry. He's angry. Even Dad's making fun of me. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. So he got to hang out with himself on the computer. So, but I feel better, much better now. The <laughs> vlogging helps. Talking to you helps. Yes, you guys. No one else listens. You're a captive audience. You guys are therapeutic. You give us our therapy. So, hopefully, we're helping inspire you guys once in a while. But today, thank you. And uh, whoa, look at the. What are you doing with your hair there? I'm gonna put it up. You getting ready for a modeling shoot? I'm getting ready for checking cra traps. <laughs> <laughs> Said that wrong. Crap. Oh, we all, we all, and we just got these new uh, Soul Life sunglasses, like a yes, dozen pairs. So did. check out Soul Life Optics. We're gonna talk more about them later. Yeah. Uh, Zeiss lenses, they're really great. We've been wearing them for like five years. Yes. We don't mention them too much on YouTube, but the frames and the lenses are made in Italy. They are. Um, they have a, like a ripel on the front of them, basically, so it, it's like anti-scratch and anti-water resistance, all that great we'll stuff. We'll do the whole thing. I just wanted but, to mention, we just got a whole 12, yeah. dozen pairs in. I know a lot of you guys have. You noticed the white ones, maybe. We both uh, Links wear. in the description. We'll talk about them later. Yeah. Thanks. We Let's all go. wear Saw Life Optics. Yeah, even Dan's even got his pairs on, too. All right, let's go check some more traps. So... This next trap, we uh, we actually just rebaited it literally two days ago, and I just want to check it and see what's going on with it, see if we need some more bait. But it looks like we got some crabs. Oh yeah, wow, little ones. That might be a no keeper crab. Fish, huh? Oh wow. No crab. He's got no, no claws. claws. And then somebody's hurting him too, like they're trying to beat him up. Oh yeah. Wow. Check out my trigger fish in here. It's always so cool what you find in here. We've got a lot of clear, clean water in shore these days. And the reason being is because it hasn't rained a whole lot. So the water cleans up, in, especially in shore. It's been so brown and gross. So I think with the clearer water, all these different species are coming in um, in shore. And right now the sharks come in shore and all that great stuff. So it's a cool time of the year. You never know what you're going to see. Actually, I think that is a queen trigger fish. I'm not 100% sure, but there's gray trigger fish. That's definitely not. It's very colorful. And uh, that's probably one from offshore on the reef but beautiful little trigger fish. And I've showed you guys this before, but that's their trigger. Once this is up, you can't push it down, but you can with the second trigger, you can push it down. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and release them. 
All to the elbow. Bend it? Elbow right there. Oh, right here. Yeah. Nope. nope. Not a keeper. No. Nope. All right. No keepers in this trap. Lots of crabs, though. Good sign. Success. Pretty awesome. That had a lot of bait in, or a lot of crabs in there two days later. Rebaited. We got one more to check. Be honest with us guys and let us know if you want to see any more crabbing videos in the future. I know we I know we did it quite a bit over the start of the season, which was our first time ever. I know Brian doesn't want any more crab videos, but uh, go ahead and comment below if you like it or if you don't like it or whatever, but we would appreciate your input. Gosh! Wait till you see what's in here. Wait till you see what's in here. Oh my gosh. I can't, I just can't believe it every single time. I always get so excited. You guys know that, but I really just love to see what's in our traps and I get super stoked and I'm even more stoked now because I think they're the biggest ones of the day. So let's find out. Oh baby. Dang. We scored the mother load again. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Crushing it. Crushing it. I think a new flat boat's good luck. Nice. Gotcha. Nice. Score! Wow. Look at that claws we got today. Beautiful. Wow. And these are both males. And the reason you can tell they're males is by the cone shape on the bottom of their crab. Uh, carapace. Carapace. There you go. Sweet. Guys, we got one more trap to check and that's our secret trap and usually there's some lunkers, some giants in there, so I'm excited. Nice job. Let me check this. Nope. Yes. Awesome. That is officially a dozen keeper claws today. It's a record. It's a record. The new flats boat. My dad's good luck. Everything's good luck today. Grumpy Brian, we're good to go. <laughs> Grumpy Brian. Grumpy pudding. I've had no pudding in like weeks because Captain Craig doesn't take us fishing anymore and I get, I get no pudding. All right, just wrapping it up. Want to show you guys just what an average day in the water looks like with our sizzle yeah. and Brian. Yeah, it wasn't a serious fishing trip thing today. We just needed to check our traps, get it done and uh, take my dad for a boat ride and you know just enjoy the fresh air and the water and you know get out here guys follow your dream so um, thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video let us know in the comments below make sure you check out my 2018 calendars which i have like less than 50 remaining if you want to get one plus uh fish hook and anchor brace it's all that good stuff link down in the description below merch more and, merch um yeah and <laughs> yeah more merch right and my birthday's coming up so don't forget that if you want to send me a birthday card that would be awesome or just say happy birthday online. There you go. Um, so yeah, March 3rd. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for watching. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep go on catch it. What was that? I don't, what do you mean, what was that? I don't know. You just uh, you like blended some words together. I mumble. I'm from New York.